baby food. Some have a really long shelf life. How do they keep fresh for so long? Definitely in the right place. To try and find out a little more, I'm at a mother and baby group in East London. Now, babies are vulnerable little things, and the whole point of preserving food is to kill all the bacteria. So how do you think they last so long? Because some of these can last up for a year. I don't know. Um, is it sugars? Obviously, they must be put in some form of chemicals in there, and, yeah. Something strange going on. Yeah, it does make me wonder what's, what's yeah. to preserve it, yeah, I must admit, yeah. I'm not sure these little guys are going to be much help with this particular topic. So I make a short hop across the channel. I'm travelling to the countryside a couple of hours east of Bordeaux. To understand how the majority of baby foods are made and preserved, I'm meeting the people at Cowan Gate, one of the largest producers in Europe. Hi there, I'm Jim, nice to meet you. Hi Jim, I'm Pierre. They've been in the baby food business since 1908, when they became the first company in the UK to preserve milk for babies by drying it into powdered form. I love all the colours. Yeah. It feels like a primary school. <laughs> Here they make baby food using a whole range of ingredients, from meat to fruit and veg. But today's production is all about apple puree. Wow, look at that. We care about the taste, about the natural sugar rate, and about the fact that there is no residue of pesticide or contaminants inside the apple. Right. And that is a, a big job from our supplier to be sure that the apples we receive is perfectly safe for the baby. So no pesticides, no heavy metals, it has to be super clean. Yeah, so there is a checklist of more than 500 molecules that are analyzed, and there is no detection of it. These apples are cooked for 10 minutes to soften them, the skin and pips are removed, and the fruit is pureed. But how come this baby food lasts up to a year? So, fresh food doesn't last that long in the fridge, so how can you make baby food last for months and months? We go to the step that is very important for the shelf life of the product, which is pasteurization, to kill every bacteria and microorganisms that are inside the product. So you have to kill the bacteria and the fungi before you put it in the pot? Exactly, and the cleaning machine is a controlled atmosphere, so there is no risk of contamination. These pots of apple puree are now cooked again through pasteurization at a temperature of 92 degrees for six minutes. This flash heating process kills off a wide range of bacteria, so it's a great way of extending shelf life. Do you lose any nutritional value when you're cooking it like this, when you're pasteurizing it? Uh, of course, we'll, at, like at home, we we'll lose some vitamins because of the heating. Uh, around 20%. OK. So you may lose 20%, but by doing this, by using pasteurization, it keeps it safe to eat for months and months and months. So these guys then add some vitamins back into their baby food. So if you put me through this machine, could I last forever? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> but some baby food labelled as cold-pressed has a shelf life of 90 days, which seems incredible considering it's an uncooked product. So how are they preserving them? I've come to the town of Tarragona, Spain, just south of Barcelona, to meet Guka Tadbaritza, whose company makes smoothies and baby food. Hi there, I'm Jim. Hi, Guka, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Now, I hear you're the man who knows a lot about baby food. Absolutely. Right, come so with me. Thank you. The factory that makes Guka's baby food is at the cutting edge of some amazing new technology. Wow, look at that. I mean, that looks like a spaceship. They've invested £2.2 million in a food preservation machine which was launched only two and a half years ago. What is it? What's it called? This is what we call HPP, high pressure processing. So instead of the traditional heat used for preservation, we use high pressure. So there's no heat involved at all. It's all about high pressure. And what does that do then? What it does is it deactivates uh, the bacteria and gives the product the shelf life. Food is packed into cylindrical baskets, which are then transferred into a chamber, which is then filled with water. Extra water is then pumped into the chamber, increasing the pressure. The extreme water pressure pushes down on the bacteria in the food. Proteins inside the bacteria lose their structure and can no longer perform critical functions, so the bacteria are deactivated. 
But smaller compounds like vitamins are not affected, so remain in the food. When you look at the loss of nutrition of uh, pasteurized products, this is the way to pack and keep the most amount of nutrients possible. To check these claims out, Guka and I head to the factory's laboratory. You can see with our methods, it's hardly any loss of nutrition. Yeah, look at that. It's less than 5%. Less than 5%. But in the sample that Guka's lab heat pasteurized, nearly 35% of the nutrients were lost. That is a lot. That is a lot. So there's two options. Pasteurized baby food means you may lose a few original vitamins, but you get a long shelf life. Or high pressure processed, keep the original vitamins, but it only lasts 90 days and you must keep it in the fridge. The choice is yours.